You can pack your bags cause we're headed on vacation Throw them in the back on to our destination Don't forget your toothbrush and you don't need no makeup Unless you want it, baby, that's fine with me Headed on a road trip, let's go, let's go Washing every town we dip on the past You're in charge of the tunes, just skip the ones that make the time just fly Who's winning? You are, but it's just because we haven't finished the game yet. All right. I'm making a comeback. And in the morning, we're making waffles. <laughs> waffles. This is my most favorite shop of all time. How long does it take Trinity to make a good decision? About an hour. It, it could be great, it could be a disaster, but we're gonna find out and didn't want to cancel, so I guess uh, you'll find out too. Oh my gosh, that's a shark! I love the RV life. Let's go. Let's go, I can't wait to go to the Florida Keys. So it is that time again where we have come to the place with RV life that you find out more things that are not working and so you have to find out the things that will work when you find things that are not working. Let me show you what's going on with these bins and why that this is just no longer working. Okay, so this is what we have got and this is why that this isn't really working so much anymore. So a couple of things. One, you can see all of the Gorilla Tape and the duct tape that we've got going on here from lots of years of use and things falling apart. The other problem that we now have in addition to the fact that these are just falling apart is that we now travel with our pets and we used to not travel with our pets. And the cats in particular have kind of found under this bed area is a place that they like to kind of hide or hang out, especially on travel days. And so that means that the kids' clothes are getting full of cat hair. I went to Ikea and what I wanted from Ikea, <laughs> Ikea was out of stock on, but I found something extremely similar, and that is the Stook. What I'm looking forward to using this for the kids' clothes is it has a flap and it has a zipper. So this will zip all the way. And then we'll be able to just slide these under the bed. And these actually, oh, look at that. It's almost nice. like it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Almost like it was meant to be. Ready? You ready to go for a ride? Yes. Then where are we going? Go for a ride. Yes. What are you excited about? Going to the keys. Woohoo! It'll look like I these love covers. The keys. It'll look yeah, like new shoes? That. Yes. Nice. And it'll look the keys will look like that. Oh. The palm trees will look. Alright. Ready to go get some food at the cracker barrel? I'm tired. I need coffee. And food. Coffee and some biscuits and, and gravy. Both. Mm -hmm. Biscuits and gravy are probably one of my favorites. But now I'm also liking the hash brown casserole. I just love it all and I'm starving, so. You know, you know what the cool thing about it is? Hmm. Cracker barrel's right there. We can walk right over to it. I'm hungry. Let's go get food. Cracker barrel? Bring me back some bacon. Or can I just come with? Yeah. You have the money? over here fueling up the rig so let's go see how well he's doing. Oh crap, I got diesel in my hands. Uh oh, got diesel in your hands? Yeah, because I had like moving in everything and I had to adjust uh, it. it well, go in. It wouldn't go in. No. What the heck? 
Like, huh. if I squeeze it, like, all the way, it would, like, pop and it. it would stop it. Well, I appreciate you doing this. You're, you're getting better at this job. And it just keeps going and going and going. Let's see how much it takes. It was about a, right around a quarter of tank before I stopped here at the service station to fill up. About 200. So basically I went in and told them that, you know, to pre-authorize it for, I think it was like 250. So once we close out this transaction, the rest will go back on the card. This is a jet boat that was uh, right next to us. Pretty impressive. Let me see how many motors are on it. One, two, three, three jets. because one of the things that I think is super fun with RV life is that when you find some of those fun spots that you want to go back to, you can go back. Or, you know, you find some spots where you're like, eh, I'd rather go somewhere else. But this is one of those spots that we just absolutely loved so much and fell in love with so much on so many levels that we decided we wanted to come back. But it just so happened that what was available this time was a premium site versus a standard site. And so from what I can tell, looking at the map, we should be waterfront. So we'll see once we get there if what it looks like on the map holds up. Are we there yet? Take me to the dog park. off the pier and hope that there's enough wind that it keeps enough seams away. I think they're tarpons, right? Aren't those tarpons? Tarpons, I think. I know they're big. And then those little zebra type fishies. What do you think, Alaska? Alaska, are you mm. sniffing all the sniffs? Rover you smelling here. all the smells, doggy? Sunny was here. Hey, Alaska, come. Ooh, come here. Girl dog. Got it. <laughs> What's the score? <laughs> Nine to eleven. Who's winning? You are, but it's just because we haven't finished the game yet. All right. I'm making you come back. All right. Let's see what you got. Get to your station. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Ten to eleven. Oh. Hey, doggins. Good boy. What do you think? Do you like the island life? Yeah, I like it. That looks good. Then we're gonna get I need some water with it. Then we're gonna get coffee. Some water. I guess this meal is uh, family approved. Super easy, instant pot meal in the RV. So there you go. I don't even know what to say as far as it was just pasta, chicken broth, cream cheese, salt, pepper, garlic. Broth. Oh, 
and lemon juice, freshly mm. squeezed lemon juice. Okay. All in the Instant Pot. It, what do you think? It's really yummy. Yummy? Well, this is the freshly off the ocean look of quick rinse off to make dinner. Nothing else going on. How is it? Tasty. You know how these pop it things are like all the rage. Well, I saw a thing where you take some of the pop it things and I did wash them with soap and water first. And then you put fruit in them. So I put some blueberries in them and then you take some yogurt and that kind of, oops, I just accidentally got a blueberry in my yogurt. Nobody will know. I'll take care of that. Take care of that. But you spread some yogurt out over the fruit on the poppets. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them in the freezer and it'll make kind of a little frozen yogurt snack thing for the kids. And they're gonna think it's all fun and cool cause it's in their poppet. So gotta make sure I've got room in the RV freezer. I think I can stick the other one up there. All right. So, this will probably take overnight to freeze, but maybe the kids can have that for their breakfast tomorrow. Win for mom. And it's healthy. And it's healthy. <gasps> wow. Yeah. It looks cool. You like mm -hmm. it? Me, yeah, oh. it looks cool. Let me try it. Awesome, kid approved breakfast. Sweet. And over here, I'm obviously making a very big mess of the brownie batter. And the <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I can put a little too much brownie batter in that one. So note to self, not as much brownie batter. You got a little sun on you today. Oh my goodness gracious, did I ever. Mm -hmm. Note to self again, lots of notes to self right now. If the UV index is an eight, that's high. It's very <laughs> high. I was thinking, it's not a 10, I should be good. Not so much. Oh, pretty good though. You fresh them? Yeah. Mm. This is the first go round. It crumbled a little. But hey. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I know. Like, here's the thing. RV life, you totally drop things. <laughs> you totally just can improvise on some of the stuff, whereas like a little mini waffle maker can make all sorts of things. Got your Instant Pot, your air fryer. It's all you really need for cooking in here. So just so you know and that I'm not crazy, the second one turned out perfect. Ooh, look at that. Waffle brownie things going well. So you're not gonna believe what I just did, <laughs> but we're getting ready to head down to Key West and I needed to make sure that I knew where my purse was I knew it was in the Jeep, so grab the keys, unlock the Jeep, make sure it's in there. So I have this problem called ADD OCD, where when I see a mess, I feel like I have to stop and clean it up right there. So I'm grabbing trash out of the Jeep after I make sure my purse is in there and then we're ready to go and I can't find the Jeep keys. Well, I threw them away with the trash. Luckily, it wasn't so bad that then we bagged up the trash and took it down to the dumpster because that would have been a whole Another scenario, but yeah, I threw away the keys. Glad that I just retraced my steps and found them, but they were in the garbage. Last place I would have looked. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. So I'm uploading a video for you guys and we need to keep going and keep the video uploading. So this is what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you here. Um, here it is uploading. We've got the to-go power plugged in with my laptop and also powering our internet. So sometimes you gotta improvise. That was easy. Let's go get on the bus. Oh, wait a minute. Masks. We're not getting masks. The last time we did. I feel right when you're around. Favorite 
favorite shop of all time. I don't know what it is about Ron John. There's just something iconic, surfy, beachy, Florida. I don't know, there's something about it. So we're gonna stop in here because I just love this store. The last time we came down, Kermit's Key Lime shop wasn't open. Kermit's wasn't. Should we go and see if it's open after this? After this. But okay, John first. let's do it. Why did he have to find the rubber chicken? <laughs> the large ones. Is this a shirt? You like that? No, is it a shirt? I think. It's a top. Okay. It's barely a shirt. No. Barely. <laughs> that is right up your alley. Oh, that is right up your alley. How long does it take Trinity to make a good decision? About an hour. Hey, hey, I, I'm deciding hey, what to do with mine. It's got to be perfect, doesn't it? Yeah. We have to find hey. the perfect thing. It's not a perfect thing. Well, oh, that is the perfect thing, too. Can't decide, Mom. You can't decide? That's weird. Ooh, that's nice. No, I like it. I like that one. Like, I might want one. Yeah. So, if you could get anything out of this store, what would you get? What would you get it for me? I would get, like, one of those motorized um, skateboards. I'm just wondering, like, you know, like how you can like steer skateboards by leaning. Yeah. I'm seeing if they have like steering modules. So this one oh, does. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Steering. That's nice. pretty fascinating. You know, a clear one. Yeah. I see the pavement down below glass. you as you're ripping it down the street. Is that the right wording? I, I'm, I'm not. You I'm say not, I'm it? Not, I'm not in the skateboard community, so. Oh, so you don't know. That shop is called Gray's Craze. And it says charcuterie boards. <laughs> ah, this charcuterie board thing is becoming a thing. I told you, it's like a yeah. total thing. And it makes for such easy meals, especially when you're in the RV, just some fruit, cheese, and meat, and then mm -hmm. that's like your meal. So simple, I love it. Nice. Thank God it's becoming a thing. Mm-hmm. Fairly healthy too. Yeah. They're open. open. Well, you got the biggest bag you can get? Yeah, no, exactly. I didn't see it. Where's the free candy? I don't even show the free candy. Oh yeah, oh, the free candy. Yeah, they were giving samples before. Here, that's a sample, isn't it? It's a sample of taffy. You want to try it? No. Oh, look, here's a sample. I don't know if this is a sample or not. Yes, it is. I think it, no, no, that's not. Yeah, that is actually. Oh, is this a Try it. I'm kidding. Here, try it and tell me what you think. Me? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. Want to try it and tell me what you think? Candy. Okay. Give me your honest opinion. But it sold out. The sugar free candy. Oh, the sugar free candy sold out. Yeah. But what do you want? You get some things. And then, do you want the chocolate seashell? What do you think, bud? Not really. What's right. your honest, unbiased opinion? I, like what? On a scale from zero to ten. I would give it a five. Five? All yeah. right. Ready for Keela five? I'm ready. It's here. Okay. I need extra hands. All right. Thank you. Welcome back. Mm. Good. There's some about key lime. So good. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go. The good times only just begun. Get ready. Watch out. Here we go. So, you know, we're more of an experiences over things kind of family. But I always like looking for things when we're in areas like this for like Christmas gifts for friends, just because when you're in a unique place and, you know, you just pick something up from your travels. And then I just feel like that giving that type of gift just means something maybe a little bit more when 
I'm able to give somebody something and, and be like, oh yeah, we got this at such and such a place or whatever. So I just always like looking at some of these types of shops to just think forward, even though right now it's February. <laughs> Christmas is always December 25th, every single year, doesn't change. So anyway, let's just go see what we can find. One of the fun things about just RVing is when you have a place that you loved and you just want to come back. And so, yes, this is one of the places. Yeah. And not only do we want to come back, but we wanted to come back with friends because we've learned that uh, it's more fun. Yeah. And we've got friends. So my cousin and his wife are staying just down the road in another RV. So they'll be here in a little bit and uh, yeah, going to have a nice, fun day today and we still have a campground review on yes, this campground we do. that is coming so if you have not hit that subscribe button make sure that you do because this is now one of our most favorite campgrounds in all of florida yeah second time here and there'll be definitely more times that we'll come back here so anyway i'm gonna put together the stuff for snorkeling here in just a little bit and um Got the dry bag, and then I texted Tim and Stacy to let them know I've got an extra dry bag if they need an extra dry bag. Oh, oh, oh my God, I'm still in love with you. In love with you, yeah. In love, baby, oh, oh, oh my God, I'm still in love with you, yeah. Ooh. That one is something. It's, it's plastic. Try it. It doesn't... <laughs> There you go. On the table, is there mangrove or mangrove snappers over here? Spanish mackerel over there. What's your favorite kind of fish? Uh, probably tuna. Tuna? Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the shark. Oh, the pelican. The oh, the <laughs> We're gonna head out to snorkel now. We were forewarned that the weather conditions today are a little bit iffy as far as the winds are concerned. So it'll be interesting to see how this particular trip goes versus the last time that we were out. But we're strong swimmers, anyway, I don't know. 
It, it could be great, it could be a disaster, but we're gonna find out and didn't wanna cancel, so I guess uh, you'll find out too. In love with you, in love, baby, oh, oh, oh my God, I'm still in love with you. Go. It was a little choppy. A little choppy. What? Yeah. Choppy? <laughs> Super fun, but I have to be honest, I'm a little queasy after that. Yeah, Those me too. Those were rough. Well, you lost your cookies. Yes, I did. <laughs> I still have my cookies. Hmm. But yeah. how long I'm going to keep the cookies is a little questionable, I think. Yeah. I, I think, think I'll be fine now that we're not. Get some, I need some food back in my stomach. Yeah, and then my ears, which I have drops I keep at the RV for this reason, to help dry out the ears, but having trouble hearing out of this ear right now too, just with all the water, but it was fun. I'm glad we went. Yeah. Definitely glad we went, but. All right, let's load up. I'm starving. And this is the always not so fun part where we have to pack up. So it uh, is early, we have to get an early start today and I'm getting bit up. So we're gonna make this pack up process fast this morning is uh, we head out from this destination to the next. We'll be back. Yep. And that's the wonderful part about RV life is when you find those places you really, really like, you can go back over and over and over. So you'll have to let us know in the description below if there are some of those campgrounds that you have found that you feel that way about, where you just love going back every single year. Let's get this show on the road. Yes, I'm getting bit, so let's go.
check engine light came on. What? It says battery low, uh, 11.2 volts. So it's gone down below the threshold. It's not good. <laughs> no, it's not. So I have no idea what's going on here. And it doesn't seem to be charging up past that threshold. Let's double check the connections. Yeah. Because I feel like that sometimes you overlook the simple things first. Right. And that that could be a, a connection issue. Like if the battery cable, if for some reason there's a loose battery cable, that could cause them. Worst case scenario. I'm just hoping that we get back home okay without the batteries completely dying and the rig not running. We're three hours from home. Three hours, like that's so close. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that whatever it is, that we can at least get back to our home base where we're in a better position to troubleshoot instead of like being stranded somewhere where we don't want to be stranded. What are you doing? Keep going. I'm just getting it out of the wind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting you look the very mic. strange. I know I do. <laughs> you should see what all video creators look like when they're holding their cameras <laughs> and the moves they make. You're gonna get run over. <laughs> what do you think, kitty? Kitty, 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 kitty. You silently judging me? Should I make you talk too in the video? The animals, talking animals. Yeah! 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 Do you like to go? Go? For rides? To the dog parks? Mm. 